In the Roman Empire, five men and six women earn 27 denarii every day. On the other hand, six men and five women earn 28 denarii every day. How much denarii does one man earn and how much denarii does a one woman earn? We could slowly tabulate the earnings made by specific numbers of men and women. The first piece of information tells us that 5 men and 6 women earn 27 denarii and the second piece of information tells us that 6 men and 5 women earn 28 denarii. We could try to add the number of men and the number of women and the number of denarii. If we add 5 men to 6 men, we can split this up into 5 plus 5 plus 1. One, and we know that 5 plus 5 equals 10. So adding 10 to 1, we get 11 men. Likewise, we can add 6 to 5. And here we know that we could add 5 to 6 instead since addition can be swapped. We could once again break up the 6 into 5 plus 1. Noting the 5 plus 5, we get 10 plus 1, which equals 11. And finally, we could add the denarii together as well. Adding 27 denarii and 28 denarii is a little bit more challenging. We observe that there are 4 tens, 2 fives, and 5 ones when we add 27 to 28. We probably also would have in mind a quick multiplication table that tells us the results when we multiply numbers together. For example, in the first calculation, we see that 5 times 1 equals 5. And we can break up the 2 times 5 into 5 plus 5. And we recall that 5 plus 5 equals 10. Now we have 4 tens added to 1 ten added to 1 5. This simplifies to 4 plus 1 tens plus 5, which simplifies to 5 tens plus 5. But seeing 5 tens gives us 50. So we can take 50 plus 5 to obtain 55. Therefore, we obtain 55 denarii. On the other hand, it seems a little challenging to work with 55. Looking at our multiplication table once again, it turns out that we could write 50 as 10 lots of 5. This means we could rewrite 50 as 10 lots of 5 plus 5. And since we have 10 lots of 5 plus 5, that simplifies to 11 lots of 5. Now since 11 men and 11 women obtain 11 lots of 5, one man and one woman must obtain 5 denarii. On the other hand, we could take 5 and multiply that into each of these numbers. By our multiplication table, 5 times 1 gives us 5, and 5 times 1 gives us 5 again, while 5 times 5 gives us 25. We can compare this with the row involving 6 men, 5 women, and 28 denarii, and break this up into 5 plus 1 men, 5 women, and 25 plus 3 denarii. Making the comparisons, since 5 men and 5 women earn 25 denarii, we can essentially deduce that 1 man earns 3 denarii. On the other hand, we recall that 1 man and 1 woman together earn 5 denarii, which we can break up into 3 plus 2. Since 1 man earns 3 denarii and 1 man and 1 woman earn 3 plus 2 denarii, we can deduce that 1 woman earns 2 denarii. Therefore, one man earns 3 denarii and one woman earns 2 denarii. So thinking even before the Roman Empire, we have Pythagoras' theorem and in 2023, two high school students proved it in a rather novel way whose proof you can watch in the video here.